Let's try to find out the magnetic field due to an infinitely long straight wire. Okay, so so let let this be an infinite wire, right? So so it extends in both the directions to infinity, right? We take this as its origin, and we are supposed to find out the field at this point, right? Say 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 point that is say a point that is that is a, a distance r away and by distance i mean the radial distance the perpendicular distance away from that right now let's say the the sense in which the current is being carried is this and this is a, a constant current that goes out throughout the wire right now now we see that if we take a current element somewhere here like that right if, if this is the current element then the then it has got some contribution at this point right so so this current element has got has got a contribution here right say here fine this has a contribution here and let me let me write this r here right so so this becomes my my r vector correct this r has nothing to do with this so so let me kind of name this name this d fine otherwise there seems to be a confusion that that this r is the magnitude of this which it is not so this is d right this d now now you have this current element and and their tails are together the current element i dl right i dl is that and this is your r their tails together and this becomes then the angle between them right so this angle is say theta right this angle is say theta now what is the contribution of this the contribution of this is is, is, is db okay the, the the infinitesimally small amount of magnetic field is actually equal to i d l cross r r cap rather right so r cap upon upon r square and obviously the constant of proportion in proportionality mu naught upon 4 pi is there right so mu naught upon 4 pi ideal cross r cap upon r square right now what now what so so this this field due to this 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 current element will be downward right it will be downward so i show it by this cross right now wherever you go say say you take take a current element here right what happens due to this due to this current element right we have we have an r which is like that okay and due to this we again have the dl cross r i dl cross r has a direction in has 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 a downward direction right so i dl cross r so you take i dl and and try to align it with r through the smaller angle and that will that will be a, a a clockwise rotation okay for a right handed screw which will which will kind of take it into the board into the screen right so it is i d l cross r fine so that is that is inside and, and the same thing will happen for for any current element that is there right so so any current element there there is is also into the paper right so so i d l i d l right if this is i d l and this is r then then again it is the clockwise direction 
and the the sense of ideal cross r is into the board right into the screen now what happens if all these vectors are in the same direction though they are vectors they'll sum as scalars right vectors in the same the same direction they'll add to give you scalar so 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 what happens is you have a small vector like that right and then say another vector like that and then another vector like that you see if if this is say 1 2 3 in magnitude then the total magnitude is a straight line that is equal in length to to 6 right so 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 they add in a scalar manner right if they add if the vectors are in the same direction they add as the sum their their, their magnitude the resultant magnitude will be the sum of their magnitudes do we get that okay so so that's why we take the liberty of of converting we take the liberty of converting this this vector equation to to a scalar equation so db is actually mu naught upon 4 pi into dl ideal okay mod of ideal into mod of r cap mod of r cap is 1 into sine theta into sine theta upon r square do we see that do we see that r square fine upon r square now what now what you have you will what is l okay you have to take this length as L so that this DL is a change in this length right so this has to be taken as as L as L so that this is DL right Okay. Now we have to sum this up, but then there is a problem while integrating. We have actually two variables. Okay, one of the variables is this L. L is one of the variables, so DL is a variable, and another variable is theta, right? So you have to find a way to 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 convert this into one variable okay that is very very important otherwise you'll not be able to integrate it so so what do we do how do I convert this into one variable okay I can I can I can make a relation between L and D is it not I can build a relation between L and D and and we call this let us say we call this phi so l upon d is is tan phi is it not that is tan phi so l is equal to d tan phi but you know we we still have this theta there so 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 instead of that variable we have been able to eliminate l but we have got a new variable as as phi now what do we do what is this angle this is pi minus theta right so so we have another we have another relationship that tells us that pi minus theta plus phi is equal to 90 degrees that that is that that is pi upon 2 so so that is pi upon 2 pi minus theta plus phi is pi by 2 so I get I get theta is equal to theta is equal to phi minus pi by 2 okay theta as 
as phi minus pi by 2 now let us let us try to solve this so 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 we try to convert this whole thing in terms of a single variable and we come here and we see that dl is equal to d sec square phi d phi right okay so dl goes in terms of of phi right dl goes in terms of of d phi now how about this theta so the theta sine theta is equal to sine phi minus phi not theta right it is sine phi minus pi by 2 and that is equal to minus sine pi by 2 minus phi because we know sine minus theta is minus sine theta and, and pi by 2 minus phi is cos phi so this is minus cos phi right so db becomes minus mu naught upon 4 pi into into i into into cos phi okay to cos phi into into d sec square phi d phi so so this d sec square phi into d phi right that is your your, your db so we see now everything has got converted into into a into a single variable right into a single variable in terms of phi and d phi right now let's go ahead so so what does that mean this means that is minus mu naught upon 4 pi okay i d i d sec square phi into cos phi is sec phi right it is sec phi d phi okay the sec phi d phi and and there, there there is a d square here right hold on there is there is a d square here this this r we had decided to convert into a d right so 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 this this d square is there right d square is there fine So this question, so theta instead of r we we need to get as d so right? theta equal to phi plus pi by 2 theta is equal to theta is equal to phi yeah mm -hmm. plus pi by 2 yeah this phi plus pi by 2 because this is pi and and this is pi minus 2 so theta goes area yeah, phi plus pi by 2 fine right so so sine theta is equal to that so this becomes pi by 2 plus plus phi so this becomes this and this becomes plus cos phi right this becomes plus cos phi that's your db yes Okay. this upon the, the, there's a d square there as well right so so that gives you what that gives you mu naught i upon 4 pi d okay the infinitesimal field here db is given by by i d l i d l
the infinitesimal field field db at, 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 at the point p db is given by i dl cross r cap obviously that constant mu naught upon 4 pi is there upon r square right where, where r square is the distance between the points now now we have all these vectors so 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 all those vectors they add up in the same direction okay so so be it a vector somewhere here ideal cross r will point point downward and here too they'll, they'll point downward so so we are in effect adding vectors in the same direction right so this is actually in effect a scalar multiplication now we come to so so this becomes your your db the the scalar quantity becomes mu naught upon 4 pi into i dl into mod of r cap that is 1 upon r square into sine theta now this this distance is l that's why this is dl so 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 what happens is is there there is a variable l here and there is another variable theta here both of them vary right so i have to eliminate those i have to convert everything in terms of one variable right so so let us come to that we have first of all r also as a variable but r square is actually l square plus d square right also i introduce a new variable phi out here so that so that i i define something called l upon d as tan phi so that l becomes d tan phi right now due to this dl becomes d sec square phi d phi right this is d sec square phi d phi now what is r r square becomes becomes l square so d square tan square phi plus plus d square so d square that gives me d square into tan square phi plus one that that gives me that gives me d square sec square phi that is r square right so now I tend to and, and there is another thing I've, everything I'm trying to convert in terms of in term in terms of phi so so there is another 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 relation that we can see and that is that that pi minus theta plus phi is equal to pi by 2 pi pi minus theta minus theta plus phi is equal to pi upon 2 so so theta is equal to pi upon 2 plus phi right so sine theta actually becomes equal to sine pi by 2 plus phi pi by 2 plus phi and that gives us cos phi right so now i'll substitute all these so so i i am substituting i, I have let me write it here sine theta is equal to cos phi that is one right so so this is one of the relations we have my r square as d square sec square phi this is another relation right and then i have i have dl as d sec square phi d phi that is another relationship right so so if i put that there so db becomes equal to mu naught upon 4 pi right into i into i dl i dl is is, is d sec square phi d phi into sine theta is cos phi upon there is a d square sec square phi there right the sec square phi sec square phi cancels and we get mu naught upon mu naught i upon upon 4 pi d okay into cos phi d phi right that is your db okay and and the total total 
total phi here right total b here will be the summation of this so we have to integrate and this is the only variable right so how does it go it goes from when this is infinity like like this is kind of pointing to to something that is infinitely below this what happens it kind of goes like that right so so it will be something like that and as you see as and this is still still not pointing to to infinity right so as it starts pointing to infinity this line will actually become sort of parallel to to the green line and at this whole angle becomes minus pi by 2 this angle becomes minus pi by 2 and in a similar manner when 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 this goes up to pointing to infinity this line also get tends to get parallel and this angle is plus pi by 2 so what you have to do is is just integrate this so so integration of db is from minus pi upon 2 to plus pi upon 2 mu naught i upon 4 pi d cos phi d phi right and what do we get we get this has as mu naught i upon 4 by d what is the integration of cos phi it is sine sin phi. phi why because because it's the differentiation of sine phi that gives you cos phi fine so it goes from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and and, and we get mu naught i upon 4 pi d 4 pi d and 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 you put this value here first so it is sine pi upon 2 minus sine minus pi by 2 okay and and that gives us that gives us mu naught i upon 4 pi d into 1 minus minus 1 that gives me mu naught i upon 4 pi d into 2 and and that cancels so b b at a distance b at a distance d becomes actually b is mu naught i upon 2 pi d right so this becomes our expression right now before we go ahead if what happens if this whole thing is not infinity right so it is some some uh, uh, some finite length of y right so then what we do is 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 we we try to take the limits right how so let us say it is something like that so it starts from here okay or, or, or I'll draw a separate figure or not let us say let us say the wire is something like that let's say the wire is something like that okay and and it's finite and, and point here is P which is at a distance of D from here and this angle is this angle is is minus phi 1 right and this is phi 2 right get that so what happens what did we ultimately integrate we integrated in the end right this was our integration right this fine this was our integration so what happens it's mu naught mu naught i upon 4 pi d into cos phi d phi right so it is mu naught i upon 4 pi d cos phi d phi and and we'll be taking it from minus phi 1 or, or say minus theta 1 whatever to plus phi 2 this is our b 
correct and and it is it's pretty simple to understand this is actually equal to mu naught i upon 4 pi d into sine phi and it goes from from minus phi 1 to say plus phi 2 okay it is minus if it goes below this line right if say say suppose you wanted it from here to here okay from if, if, if your if your if your wire extended only from here to here then what happens both these angles will become positive they are on the same side of, of, of this line understand so what happens we we that's why we have taken this to be negative because it is on this side of the line so it becomes actually mu naught i upon 4 pi d into sine phi 2 minus sine minus phi 1 okay and and that becomes and, and this becomes mu naught i upon 4 pi d into sine phi 2 plus sine phi 1 we get that this is your b for any any length okay this is the general formula that you should keep in mind so that so that you can extend it to infinity or semi infinite wire or whatever right we get the point okay so for an infinite wire i know that my phi 2 is 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 90 degrees right phi 2 is 90 degrees my phi 1 is what is my phi 1 plus 90 minus, minus 90 minus plus 90. 90 because you have already taken this to be negative okay don't make that mistake you have already taken this to be negative so that's why this positive sign comes in here okay so or or you you could say uh, if i if i do not take it to be negative and it's better not to take it as negative okay better not to take it as negative you you apply that later so so it's better that this is taken as as positive positive so that it remains this okay now you should remember a convention that whenever it is kind of below this line i'll be taking it as negative okay so if you put phi 1 as minus pi by 2 you will get you will get the formula that you got here in the end right you will get this okay you will get this let me let me kind of copy it and 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 take it here okay so so copy it and and let's shift it here okay and, and let me paste it here side by side so so this is the formula for infinite wire right infinite on both the sides okay so infinite i can talk about infinite wire the the formula is this right for for a for a finite wire it is that right and what if the wire is semi infinite you understand that it's infinite from one side yeah it is it's it's infinite from one side let's say i say that that your that your point is here if, if this goes to infinity you are exactly here d so what happens one end makes an angle one end makes an angle 0 degree right so it goes from 0 to pi by 2 right so 5 1 becomes 0 is it not 5 1 is 0 5 2 is pi by 2 so b becomes mu naught i upon 4 pi d into into sine pi by 2 minus sine 0 correct sine 0 and, and that becomes mu naught i upon 4 pi d because sine pi by 2 is 1 and this is 0 so 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 we get b as b as let me let me write it here again b as mu naught i upon 4 pi d correct 
we have mu naught i upon 4 by d and so does that now what what does this tell you you know it means that this half of the wire is producing half the field of this understand and the rest half is being produced by the lower part of it so so again the principle of superposition kicks in right so so the other half one half is producing mu naught i upon 4 pi d 4 pi d and the other half is also providing mu naught i by 4 pi d both in the same direction so they add up in a sense and give you mu naught i upon 2 pi d we get the point so we have it for a semi-infinite wire now it's it's again another case can be that that the semi-infinite wire need not be starting from here so so it, it may be the same. yeah it may be something like that okay so so making some angle here and and then going to infinity mm -hmm. but but the fundamental remains the same the angles they keep on changing as per your your limitations whatever is the distance and whatever is the angle that they make and that's how it changes correct we get the point fine